as a leader, I will be uh, basically trying to create a very conducive environment for the for my members to share openly and also learn the concept of service learning. The main idea is like try to communicate with the kids, even though there is a communication barrier, and to deliver our programs um, without verbal cues. Yeah. Many students who have participated in these overseas community projects are humbled by this experience. They have learned so much from the local communities that they serve, as much as they have given their time and efforts. With improvement works to the school, we believe that the students will have a more pleasant and conducive environment to study and to play in. <laughs> Whatever project the students can do, I believe coming here already interacting with them every day, it's, uh, it's going to make a big impact in terms of the children's lives and I hope in turn for the NTU students to be able to see the children who are growing up in this uh, uh, nunnery school. I realise that the children are actually very contented with whatever they have even though what the things that they have is very little, uh, so I've learned that we should actually have a more grateful attitude in life and be more satisfied with whatever we have right now. And this is something that I can never learn in the classroom, despite what uh, all the modules have prepared us for. Thus, I'm very grateful for this opportunity, and if given the opportunity, I will definitely come along for an OCIP in the future.